Okay, so I've got the dark colored cap, which I think will be great for the light colored flowers. And I've got a pretty simple palette, different shades of yellow for the sunflowers, some orange, black and white, of course, some brown for the center, and some greens for the leaves. So I think I'll start with the leaves in the background and then pop those flowers on top. And you can use your ordinary acrylic paints. They're gonna stay on there. They're, they they um, work nice on fabric. They're not gonna come off when you wash or anything or the rain. Once that acrylic uh, paint is sinks into your fabric, you are good to go. It's a little different than painting on the canvas. So I'm just filling in where I want some leaves behind these sunflowers. And this first coat is really just a base coat to get some paint on the cap. And I'm gonna go back and then lighten and darken these leaves. I know they're a little one dimensional, a little blah right now, but it'll be easier to shade once the paint is on there and dries. And then we'll add some veins and things too. It's a bumpy surface, so it's not gonna be perfect and smooth, but it's gonna look really great, I think, when we're done. All right, so I did do a little sketch in chalk on here first, just to give me an idea where I wanted this pattern to go. You could do it on the fly too, but I wanted just to get a little sketch to start with. I'm using just my flat synthetic brush. I'm just mixing up a little bit of a middle tone green here. I'm doing these leaves pretty much the same size, but I want to vary that up. So I'm going to add some little tiny ones around it as well. But let's just get these in to start. All right. And now I'm going to use a smaller square brush just to get some smaller leaves in there. Just using the different shades of green here, mixing some yellow. Again, it's just a base coat. It's a little more awkward than painting on a canvas because I'm just rotating this in my hand, using my hand to hold the cap still where I want my leaves. These little leaves are one stroke, press and pull, and you've got these cool little leaf shapes. Press and pull, so I, I've got my little, little leaves, I'm mixing them in with my big leaves. And like I said, we're gonna add some dimension to them in a moment. You're gonna find your paint dries pretty quick on the fabric. There we are. Put another one here maybe. I'm gonna have some in the middle, sort of behind the flowers. So I think I'll just put some greenery in here and there so that when I have a gap in my flowers, there'll be something there. And that's just one big flower here. We might have a little greenery here. In between it, we're gonna have one here, a little half a flower peeking out, and then a couple, one here, and then one peeking out over here. And I can add more leaves afterwards if I'd like. So you can see it's pretty messy looking. It's just some greenery that's gonna go behind our sunflowers. And like I said, this dries pretty quick. So what I'm gonna do now is just take a little bit of the dark green. This is a phthalo green. It's kind of a dark blue green. Any dark green you have would work. And on the left side of these leaves, I am going to just add a little dark. I'm doing this just on the big leaves. We'll give it some dimension if we have a light and dark side. I appreciate you guys popping in to watch me paint this cap without even a sample because I just on a whim decided to paint it. And if you have any questions about it at all, just put them in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to know where you're watching me from. And if you have any questions, I am here. Okay, they're a little blue-green. I'm gonna warm them up a little bit with some of that yellow. In the middle, I'm gonna do it a little more bright green. And that just warms it up, it's a nicer shade. I'm just going over there with some of the yellow and green. Some of it's just yellow. Now I want a light side. So I'm going to do the corner of my brush in the white just a little bit. Pat that off. And the opposite side I'm going to do with some light. So can you see now how our leaf is getting some dimension to it? It's got a dark side. It's got a light side. I have to keep reloading that white. I pat it off a little bit before I go to my leaf. Press down, kind of wiggle it. And almost in one stroke you can have a nice little leaf. I'm gonna do the same thing for all those leaves. Every now and then I'm gonna grab a little white on the corner of my brush 
and I'm just putting it on that left side. If it's too bright, you can always just soften it a little if you think it needs it. And I'm just gonna repeat the same thing. And like I said, it is a little awkward on, with holding the cap, but I think you're gonna have fun. You could paint some, you can paint all colors. A pink cap would be really cute. I like this dark because it's gonna, my, my sunflowers are gonna pop, but depending on the color of the flowers you're painting, you could do almost any color. Brighten that one up a little tiny bit. And then the little guys, you don't really see see too much of them, but if you wanted to, you could give them a little bit of a highlight here and there. If it looks a little dull. I'm gonna put a few more of these after, but I've got a good bit in here now. Okay, pretty much got our leaves done. We can do veins with a liner brush, or you can do it with the chisel edge of your flat. So you could just do some little veins if you wish. I love the flat brushes, they're very versatile. You can do real wide strokes and you can do really thin ones as well. You can make little veins on your little guys if you wish. And you're gonna see it, it is different than a canvas. Paint's gonna skip a little bit. It's not gonna be as precise as you want, but that's the look, and, and I think that lends itself to painting on fabric. And remember, aprons, tote bags, you could do all sorts of little fun projects with the fabric. There, I'm gonna let that go a little bit, and let's get some of our sunflower base coat there. I do like my bristle brushes sometimes because it digs into the fabric too. I just didn't, I need a nice flat to get those shapes, but for the, sunflowers. I'm going to use this little bristle brush here. I'm going to start with my darker shades. I'm going to make, maybe mix a little bit of orange. I've got a cat orange there and I've got like a yellow ochre. I've mixed them a little bit just to get a little bit darker background. When I'm painting a lot, I love to go from dark to light. And then when you put those last few strokes on, it pops right out. It's great. All right. So let's just get some where our uh, sunflower leaves are going to go. I'm going to keep adding some orange to that because I want that to be fairly dark. I'm not worrying about each petal at this point. I just want, again, to get the paint on the fabric. And then when I go to highlight and shade, it's going to be a little easier for me to do because I've got a layer of paint on there. And the dark of the hat lends it to this background, too, being a little bit darker than when get brighter and brighter as we go. Kids would love to have this little project. They would love to paint something on their baseball caps. Wouldn't that be fun for the boys and the girls? They could pick whatever they like and paint away. I didn't mean to get that white in there yet. And chalk is great to sketch your design on because you don't have to worry about filling every little bit up because you can just scooch that away with you know a little bit of damp paper towel afterwards. It's kind of freeing and fun. It's you're just kind of dabbing away and you're not worrying too, too much about um, everything being perfect. I'm gonna make one kind of peeking behind there. And we're gonna have one over here maybe. I'm going right over that green. I thought I was gonna have some greenery in behind, but not at this little spot, I don't think. So much fun. You could, uh, if you're doing a few for gifts, you could line them up and, and do production style here. You've got your colors out. Of course, I've taken enough paint out to do 12 or so caps because I always put too much paint out. So just put out a little, do as, do as I say, not as I do. I'm so bad about having too much paint. And I really try, I really do try. This got a little empty space here where I thought a big leaf was gonna go, but it didn't. So I'm gonna put just a couple petals sneaking out there to balance it. I might do a few over here. And again, I'll add some little white flowers around here after perhaps, and some more tiny leaves, maybe some vine work or something just to uh, break up a little bit of that of all the green for the leaves. All right, so yeah, let's see. I want to get it a little darker. I'm going to go with a little bit of brown and orange. I just want around the center to be a little darker. And you'll see why when I get to the light colors. Okay, so that's that. We're going to let that dry for a sec. 
when I sat with my light colors over there, I really want it to be dry. So why don't I do some of those little flowers I was just telling you about. I will go with a little brush. I think I'm gonna go with a tiny little flat. Sometimes I like these little tiny flat brushes, just the size of a little petal. And I think I'll just go with my white paint. And these are just little flowers that are gonna peek out here and there, and we're gonna give them little yellow centers. The yellow is very difficult to get to show up on dark, so that's why I'm painting the petals, and then I'm putting the center in in white as well. I want some to be right on top of the leaves, just again, to break up some of that green. These are a little wet still, so I am picking up the green underneath, but that's okay, we'll just go over it afterwards. I'm gonna have some little flowers showing through there over here. I might hit this with the hair dryer if I'm having trouble with it drying. It was drying pretty well to begin with, but I've got a lot of paint on there now. And again, don't worry about your little chalk lines that are showing. I like to use this color a lot of times in the middles too, to break up things. Maybe here. You know, any way you want to have them. Sometimes I like to have it sort of come out, trailing out a little bit. Down here, maybe a few. I like the way that looks. And then we'd go back when it's dry and put the little dots in the middle. I'm gonna hit it quick with the hair dryer just to dry it up so we don't have to wait too long for that. hair dryer or a heat gun is great to speed up some of the drying time when you're wait, waiting on something like that. You'll pop in, and actually I'm going to pop in more of a gold than that bright yellow. Just little, I'm just dabbing little centers in there. And it's covering, even where I didn't do the little black Yep, the white centers, it's covering pretty well because it's the ochre rather than the plain yellow. Nothing says you can't just add a few little doodads in here of the gold just to make it interesting. And they can just be little things peeking out. All right, let's start having some fun with our sunflowers. Okay, brush for that. Let's see what we're going to use. I think I will use a flat brush again because I'm going to show you how you can get some nice petal shapes with this. So I've got my dark, which is the orange and the ochre and some brown, dark background, and I'm going to work my way up to bright. So we're going to do it step by step. So let's just see how this color shows up. And I'm just going to do just little petal shapes. That's showing up okay. Let's see how about the ochre. Ochre's a little better. So can you see I've got my flat brush. I'm sort of starting it pressing and then I'm chisel it in a little bit. You can even start on the chisel edge and then press and bring it in. You're just doing petal shapes from the outside of your sunflower in. You want to go that direction because you can get a better shape for petals. And just here and there. It doesn't have to be all in a row because you're going to layer on different lighter colors as you go. And this is the shape that you, you can start a petal flat and then twist the brush to the chisel edge and pull it in. That's press, pull, press, pull. You can also start a little more of a chisel edge, then widen it and pull it in. And look, you get a little bit different shape. You got this little uh, point there, press. Beautiful daisy petals, black-eyed Susan petal shapes, sunflowers. Practice those strokes, press and pull or chisel, press, and pull. Have fun, just little polywog strokes, really, but you can use those strokes in a lot of things that you paint. All right, so these little ones here that I'm painting are just little petals that are peeking in behind that one. 
And that will all make sense once we get the centers on and whatnot. So pressing and pulling, pressing and pulling. Sometimes I start chisel, press and pull just for a variety of strokes. Here and there, they're not constant and all alike as I go around. They're just the building blocks to build up to a nice dark, a uh, nice light uh, sunflower in, in the when we're done. So there we go. We've got our dark in the background, and now we've got a second coat there. I'm going to try lightening it up a little bit. If it does not, I will hit it with the heat gun again. This guy needs his little vein back in. If the veins sort of fade, you can put them in with your liner, with a paint marker, with your brush, whatever you would like. Might be nice to have some that are a little brighter. More with the yellow veins. Tie it in with your sunflowers. Okay, let's try some lighter petals. I am going to go and add a little white to this gold. These are, this is a yellow ochre. This is my cad yellow. This is just like a, a deeper yellow. You probably don't need all these colors, but I'm just playing around with the yellows. I've added a little white to this. And if you can see now, you've got a few strokes that are even lighter. I love it when they start popping like this. Some could be long, some could be short. I'm not paying attention exactly where they are. You can layer them on top. You can put them in between. I'm just randomly putting those petals on and where they fall, they fall. Sunflowers have that big, you know, layered effect, it seems, of all the petals on top. And I might even hit it with some orange ones as we go just to... So some I'm going to just make smaller and they're going to tuck in. Some could be brighter. I'm just using that same mixture of that goldy color with some white. And you're getting the effect. It's really pretty cool. I love working on a dark background. We got to forget, not forget this little guy that's tucked in here. Uh, we have a little guy tucked in here. Let's put a little bit of orange in there. Let's see what that does. I like a little orange tone. I'm just going to put some few here and there. They might end up a little behind, but they're just another layer there petals. Could have done this even before we did the light guys, but I do like a little bit of orange in there. Yeah, I like that a lot. Okay, I'm going to rinse off my brush because I am going to lighter colors. And I think I'm going to let it dry a tiny second before I um, do another few, few petals on top really bright. I'm going to Maybe put a few more tiny little limey green leaves in to sort of trail this out a little bit. It looks a little blocky, so I want to just trail it out a little bit. Let me make up a nice lime green here with just my uh, dark green and some yellow. And let's see. They're going to be little tiny leaves. They're just practically just little leaf shapes, but they're little. I might skip back to my tiny brush for that. If you find your paint, whatever color you're using, the, that you're using yellow especially, and it's not showing up, just add a little white to it and it will make it a little more opaque. And you see how these little light petals really show up? Nice contrast. You can make them on top of the others if you want. I just want it to get littler and lighter as it goes out on the ends. You don't have to have them all the same shade. You can add more yellow to some. And this is a lot of that dark green here. So what if I go right on top and add a little bit of yellow and down here. These guys might come out a little bit. Here we'll add a little. Yeah, it's a little bit much of that dark green. So I like it as a background for my light color, which told you how I love to use dark to light. Yeah, I like the way that kind of just tapers off there. A few down here to cover on that little place where we had the orange. And here again, we've got a lot of that dark green. Let's pop a little bit of the yellow on top. I like it. I'm 
going to put a few in the middle too once we get there. Okay. There, it's coming along. I'm going to hit it with the heat gun so that we can put the final little layer of petals on there. more petals on. Finish that up and put the centers. Let's see. I'm going to use the same little brush. Just clean it off because we are going even lighter. Let's try that primary yellow and adding some white. That'll give us a nice bright yellow. I don't want to cover up everything I've already done, so I'm just going to put some in here and there. I'm just going to watch the shape. Some could be in here. Some could be out further. They're not everywhere, they're just a few places, some thicker, some thin. You just don't want to get in the trap of doing all the same shape as you go along, it'll look like a pinwheel. So lights and darks, just throw them in there. Sometimes if you do it quicker and don't think about it too much, you're better off. There we are. There, I'm just adding a few other color, little bits of yellow in there. Okay, there. All right, I want a few petals, just a couple here and there, very white on the tippy top. Just don't get carried away and have too many. So it's just, uh, I'm not sure, I like that creamy yellow. Let's just use our primary again and more white. Uh, just a few. Just a few to brighten it up. Oh, and we've got these guys, which I almost forgot about. And you barely see them. They're just a little bit underneath, tucked there. Okay, centers, nice and dark. We want the brown and the black mix because we want those centers to be dark. To start, they're big round centers in the middle. You're gonna tie all the petals together by just doing that circle around them. I'm not doing perfect shape, I'm not doing a perfect circle, but I'm just getting a dark center in there. Even these little guys that are peeking out have a little bit of a center, and this big one here. Got a little dark on that one. I still want it to be a little brown, but, but pretty dark, okay. I want it sort of rounder, so let's just, it's wiggly, but it's basically round. Okay, cool. And it's got some little bit of pollen bits and in, in, in the inside of the sunflower sort of sinks in a little bit. So what I do to get that effect is I'm going to get kind of a, one of these creamy yellows maybe. And it's pretty light. I don't want to do a perfect circle too bright, but I sort of do this sort of thing. It's going to make it look like it's got that little indent in the, in the middle. You can see I'm not making a perfect circle. I'm using just a little bit of the goldy color and some white. Barely see it on these guys. And now I'm going to lighten up this part. This outside part is higher up. Inside here is very dark. So we're gonna lighten that up with some, let's get some orange. And I'm just taking a little bit and sort of almost dry brushing it on here. I just like the way that orange sort of barely is noticeable. That's too wet to get it to show up, but down here we should be all right. I'm almost just blobbing it on at this point to get it to show. I like the texture of the paint on something like this. It can be bumpy and have texture because it looks very painterly. I might mix a tiny bit of white in with that orange color we're using. I got a little bit of black, so let me clean that off. A little orange, a little white. And I think I'm gonna do this just on the left side, a little bit brighter. And just a little bit of black in that center. So it could be like a little darker in there and it might give you the illusion that it's sunk in a little bit. Okay, 
I finish off my sunflowers. Let me finish this guy down here. I just think that this little center, even though it's only a little bit showing, is kind of like in the black hole there. Let's just do that. Okay, I do a little pollen dots around them. I use my little dotty tool, which is right here, or you can just use the back end of your brush, or you could use the tip of your brush. And I just take whatever colors I might have out on my palette, and I just dot them around random, some out on the petals, some on the center. I am not doing a perfect ring around there. And as you dot with this little tool, you might get a heavier dot. And then as you go, they get smaller, which is what you want. They want you want them sort of random. Just all around the center, little pollen dots. And I'm going to do some in yellow and some in orange. And, and usually I just use whatever I have on my palette. They're very abstract, but you can certainly make out that they are sunflowers. And yellow will show up on, on them sometimes too, if you have it. Yellow's tough, it is tough because of the, I'm gonna mix a little with white because it is a transparent. Let's mix them. I do some orange too. Those should show up pretty well. You could mix some orange and yellow and get a lighter shade if you wished. You could even do some green and whatever color you want. I'm just going to use these lighter colors to start. Maybe I will mix up a little lighter shade. shows up a little better that lighter orange and there we are I sometimes will even take just white and do them in the middle of these little yellow centers here there we are there if you want you can add little dots out here sometimes it's just adds a little decorative something something Although we have, we have to learn to step away and just say we're done at some point. So I think that's great. You could sign your name, you know, with your liner brush to sign your name or your initials there. And I think that's pretty cool. Take a look at that. Nice. So what do you think? Going to try painting on some fabric? It's fun to find different sub, you know, substrates to, to paint on. There's all sorts of things that you can paint on. So let's try my hat on. It's a little wet, so I'm going to be careful, but. Hey, it's not bad, right? Pretty cute. So next up, tote bags maybe, or any other kind of fabric, aprons, and what can you think of? Name, you know, in the comments, put what you think you can paint on with fabric paint. Uh, not fabric paint, actually it's fabric painting, but it's acrylic paint, the, the acrylic paint that you have that you paint on your canvases with. So anyways, thanks for watching, and any questions, put them in the comments. I'd love to hear them. Thanks. Bye, guys.